So you're trying to go for Diesel the brand, but it's spelled wrong. It's close enough. New York, New York, capital of cool, where people dress to impress, and status is decided by big brands and hefty prices. Unless you don't care about that stuff and wear whatever the hell you want, even if it's a knockoff. So, in your honor, we opened our own knockoff store. <coughs> Diesel. What's up, Playboy? Diesel. Authentic. Check it out. Real diesel in there. That, that's not real diesel. Diesel? What do you mean not real diesel? You know, this is, this is not how you spell diesel, yeah? I spell tomato, you spell tomato. D-E-I-S-E-L. Diesel. D-I-E. Uh, you're not a cop, are you? No. All right, come on, what are you, a nerd? You checking for spelling? One for 20 uh -huh. and two for 40. Happy birthday. Dude, look at me. I know style. <laughs> This store has been in my family yeah. one and a half weeks. This is the bad boy. Bad boy here. I mean, you can't argue with quality. You just said that was 20. Now you're saying it's 40. We're sp look, we're splitting hairs here, buddy. I mean, I like it. It's a cute sweatshirt, but... 20 bucks. Ten, I'll do 15. So much stuff, 90 bucks. All right. Keep guys. it real. Thank you, guys. It's nice. That's what I'm saying. It's our good knockoff. Knockoff? Real diesel, man. Why are you calling it a knockoff? What you thought was a knockoff was actually genuine limited edition diesel. These are real diesel jeans. Only the logos are fake. Those of you smart enough to shop there got diesel quality at knockoff prices. Proof that your flawed fashion sense is actually a great fashion sense. See, I told you, original.